the pitch black room playing a game of hide and seek, Ion would definitely win. We teach our robots to uh, perform certain tasks and we generally use two different approaches. Reinforcement learning, where we let the robot learn walking through trial and error. So it can come up with any solution to this given task, like balancing. And then there's imitation learning. We show the robot, for example, how to grab a cop. So we show it based on human data how a certain task can be achieved. So it really imitates how a human would move. Examples of special intelligence. Let's say you want to grab a, a cup, kind of see roughly where the glass is, and then you just feel around to pick up the glass. It is much more efficient if you don't have to always look at where you're grasping, meaning also you can do multiple things at the same time. M many of these things are done also using deep learning, teaching the robot what distance means. The biggest difficulty for the robot to be able to transfer the learning from simulation to reality is the sim to real gap. Like one day the floor might be rough, the next day the floor is slippery. So we cannot always guarantee the exact same boundary conditions. What we're trying to do is have the robot learn from just a few examples by itself. It is basically dreaming about what are all the situations that we could encounter. It's really interesting. We are so flexibly and flat organized. It really helps in really quickly trying out new features. We had six iterations in two and a half years, and this really has made Ian to what he can do today. We are using cutting edge technologies. In this project, we want to really explore everything that there is and go further than that of humanoid robotics.